Cause we need your intervention yeah. The system is getting from bad to worse Yeah Joe we need your protection We're talking and talking 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 blue Got to get some satisfaction Don't let the wolf back Devour I and I Oh no Butter and shatter Scatter the heat and Oh, butter and shatter, scatter the heathen away. Butter. Hello and welcome back, my family. Welcome back to, and it's a great day today. It's nice and sunny and warm in London here. So, thanks a lot for all the viewers and all the subscribers and all the comments you have made I so appreciate love you know I love it so much that I got to share everything I'm doing not everything I'm doing but a lot of things I'm doing with you so it's a joy to live in this life what I'm living so today the topic I'm going to go on today Why having so much? And so much of what? As you can see right behind me, nothing but blue sky. It is a joy. Today is a nice day. So, I want to share it with you and tell you why. You know. I'm downgrading of a lot of things. I'm getting rid of a lot of things, you know. Starting with a idea like this now, a lot of people have made a lot of comment. Why should I leave my big house and land and fruit trees in Jamaica to coming back to a place like this? Well, I feel to myself, you can make home anywhere you want to make home. Depends on how you want to, to live your life. You know, a lot of material things, it's not all is really good at times, you know. Sometimes you have to strip away some of them because it be too much burden. I want to carry some time so my thing is now I'm going to eliminate a lot of things in my life what I don't really need as materially because I live a life around material which I have so much or so many things and it's like it's too much for I and I mentioned this before in some previous video. I have so many clothes, so many shoes, and many more other things. How many of them can I wear at once? You know, someone might say, boy, I put it down for rainy day. But right now, I have clothes, as I said before, I have not even touched for years. Shoes getting crystallized because I can only wear one at a time, you know. And it's special. I'm not really a person who really going out, going out, going out because I'm living my life in the relaxing way as I can. You know, so I just need uh, just a few handful of clothes. Things what I love, what I like. You know, like say if I'm having five pair of clothes, garments then, I'm gonna really, got to really love those one there to have those, those simple five, five things because of, it makes sense you're having something and you don't really like it 
or love it anyway have something what you really love you know so with a change of scenery as you can see the, uh, the next day from yesterday when I was explaining about losing my weight not directly weight physically overweight or so is materially so today I'm gonna to finish off some of it don't know if I will finish explaining what I'm about anyway but as you can see you now I'm in a different area and this area is South Woodford of London see yeah So I'm on the South Woodford Main Road walking towards the train station, you know, a different destination. Just the vibes anyway. I'm in a good mood and good vibes for today. So as we go along, I explain more to you. I remember last year I mentioned when I was in London I mentioned I was gonna apply for my Cena card that I could actually travel on the train and it's true for free so just back in England now and see this is my card what I used to tap into the tube station as a Cena just missed a train just now so show you again say it work and this will be a free traveling today just like that yeah so when you are reaching to the 60 age you're entitled to one of these card you can travel this is my card here what i use to travel Reach into my age group. Why do I need so many things in life to carry around? Now I'm back in England and with me, between me and my wife we actually take five cases with us, right? And now we're still realizing that we already have too much things, even at those cases, because I and I class myself right now as a nomad, right? You know, so as I say, you could see me anywhere in the world. So, to carry all this thing around, <laughs> I got to strip off a lot of things. The things about it anyway. You know, when you travel certain places in this world and you see how people are living and the little of the, what they have, you got to appreciate love to see the life you did have in these western world or first world or whatever it is you know because i travel as i say you know and i travel to some serious place where people just as barely making a living even food is a hard thing to, to get now i'm very kind of not lucky but you have to can get food to eat and that's the most important thing more than anything and also good food too you know if you can get that there although one might say i'm in england and there are no good food here you know but you know there are organic places if you search it out and get to know the connection how to find where to get these things from you can get some natural organic things anyway you know so Shearing off or peeling off these baggage. What I need, I will actually carry. And what I want is a different things, you know? Don't say I don't need a lot of money to travel and to live on. But for a lot of material things, you know, it is an issue. There's a train coming, so I don't know which side the train is coming on, maybe this is my train and so 
price is my tree and this so we'll pick you up on the other side So, using this traveler's card, and people might have wanted to say, Oh, my run come to Babylon to get in all these luxury things, see? But as I say, life is for living, and you must try to live as best and comfortable as you can because, you know, there was generation here before us generation and generation was here and they had built this all everything what you see in here in this kingdom here right united kingdom then right see and i was here as well i also do work as well so i part of the building team as well so what's there why not i get my reward as well instead of their struggling and their privilege that i could enjoy right here you know because maybe some people looking at my big house in jamaica and saying yeah that's the best life they have you know sometimes people looking in the wrong direction completely because I live that life already and I live here already and now you know I don't need no big house and I'll tell you as well I have nice cars you know when you think about the brand cars like Mercedes Benz you know I've been through all that in you know, Jaguar all the the, the, the the nice British cars I have it's not like say them all look shabby or anything like that you know the last Mercedes Benz I have in England here was a nice one in this time yeah so i've been through all that here already and now i just want to make life a little lighter you know make life a little lighter for i to can full joy life like what people might think you know you need not even need you want just want 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 you know I only deal with what I need right now like simplifying my life simplifying my mind too many too much thing too many things get a one mind and a strain yeah too many things going on and too much responsibility of you know imagine when you have things you know things everyone want it everyone want it all type of people want it seeing you know don't think says it's, it's you are gonna have it alone and eventually you're gonna actually die and leave it and leave it and maybe if it's so it was so much you're gonna leave it to people and what you think gonna happen then maybe gonna fight and war over all that how many times it always happen guarantee that will happen you know you know one pass and leave a lot of things you know it's not hard for anyone to live simple simple is the best life living simple is the best life to live When I go say as well now, I hear people mention in the comment You should go down to some part of Africa To go and live and everything will be nice You know I'll be honest with, with Some of my viewers and some of my people who are going to watch this Really and truly, Africa is not really for a man to live Right now in my age group I cannot go there to actually say I'm going to build a life there Look at my time on age group when I him now. If you go actually go and build a life, start my life all over again, I leave it to other people. 
you know and even then I've tried in my younger days you know <laughs> to test it out and see if I could live there and I realized no I cannot do that there right now because the same thing I believe in here to try to achieve there and what makes sense I'm leaving something to try to achieve something there and it's even much harder to even start thing you're just gonna go, go anywhere in Africa and they say you're gonna just invest you know or build something without having a lot of money at least a hundred thousand pound US or something like that you got to really have to start a, as an investor anyway see hey. and that's the starting point for sure if say you have that there and that's not a touching money either is a money where you have to have there for in case of anything anyway that's not the whole point about it i'm just mentioning you know i'm very contented in what i have no instead of trying to running down the world you know so